morning, hello. My name is Tiffany Almeida and I'm with Pretty in Paper Crafts. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I absolutely love to go live every Sunday morning with three projects featuring Stampin' Up! product. It is the highlight of my week. I've literally been sitting here for an hour just so excited to go live. Um, and so I'm just coming on a few minutes early to uh, get everybody situated and have everyone f hopefully find my video. So again, like I said, if you go to my raffle copter, if you do the on the blog post, which is in the comments of the description of my video, um, go down to the bottom, there's a raffle copter giveaway. You fill that out, there's two questions and you'll be entered to win the make and takes from this week. And then if you hit the share button, I'm going to be entering you in to win my See a Silhouette Sprinkles, Pigment Sprinkles class, which is happening this Saturday. So you would get the projects and you would get the um, PDF tutorial. That is a $32 value. So all of these projects, hopefully you have the pigment sprinkles and um, you'll get all the things cut and, and ready for you and the tutorial. So very exciting. So make sure you hit that share button. You might be the lucky winner. Okay guys, I'm gonna move us around so I can show you the projects for this week. I'm super excited to share them with you, okay? All right, you guys, here are our projects for today. I'm using the Capture the Good stamp set. So this Capture the Good stamp set, oh, I guess I should tell you about this too. Another way for you to get my projects every week is to place a $30 order on my online store using my rewards code. So you could get all three of my projects today shipped to you, cut, prepped, and everything for a $30 order. And then if you bump your order up to $50, you could get the gold mini pizza boxes as a thank you gift from me as well. So make and takes and my free gift. Just need to place an order on my online store by Friday using this code, okay? So there's that little spiel. I'll leave that there for a second. All right, so capture the good. So at my, at my team meeting for August, um, I'd had a lot of requests about how I take my videos, how I edit my videos, and um, you know what that looks like. So I did a training on picture quality and how to take pictures and edit them. And so I just had to use this camera set because it just coordinated so well with the theme of my team meeting. So I was using it, and I don't know if I have the projects that we did. I think I do. Um, and I was just so much, I was just in love with them. So these are the ones we did at the team meeting. We have one where there's a, of course, Maui in the background, because I love that, and this, all that stitch. Um, I, I, I cased Tammy White for this card. Um, I absolutely love this one. And then this one, which is so fun, um, where it has the camera that has like the film. It's like, oh, snap. So that's really cute. And then the last one we did was one that I had envisioned. It's called a shutter technique. And when you open it, it looks like the lens is opening on the camera. And since I was doing the camera, I knew that I wanted to try this lens. So this is what resulted of that. So I'm really so excited to show you guys this. So I definitely wanted to teach you guys this one because it's a, a pretty cool technique. And then I designed two more cards for today. Um that feature this camera set. One, of course, is a shaker card, because you guys know me, I love shaker cards, and I love these um, woven thread sequins, so pretty. So this one is could be a cute birthday card, smile, it's your day, and then you could do happy birthday on the inside. So kind of, when I put these in here, and I created this lens, it kind of reminded me of a, like a washer, a laundry machine. Doesn't it look like a laundry machine? How funny. Anyway, so there's the project number one. And then project number two, I think I saw something like this on Pinterest or Facebook that, that inspired me, but I, when I was looking back, I couldn't find it. But I saw someone that did um, where you could do a removable lens. So I made a removable lens and had a little picture on the inside. And this, um, this lens is magnetic, so it just snaps right back into place. So I'm gonna show you how to do this with the little magnets. It's super, super cute. What a fun little surprise. And it just says, how's it going? And then if you open it, it says, you're utterly fantastic. So of course I had to use these cute little cows because this little cow looks like it's posing to me. <laughs> so this is a fun little card. So these are the three projects that we're gonna do today. I'm just telling you, I absolutely fell in love with this camera set as soon as I started using it. So I'm excited to show you guys these projects. So let's go ahead and do the shaker card first. I think it's probably the easiest of the three. 
So we'll go ahead and do that first. Hopefully you guys like them. Doesn't it look like a washing machine, Janie? That's what I thought of <laughs> when I saw it. I was like, oh, all right. Okay, so for this project, all the measurements and everything I use, by the way, I create on a project sheet, which is also on my blog. So if you ever wanna know what it is I used, item numbers, prices, things like that, it's all on my project sheet, as well as measurements of the paper, okay? So I'm using, this is um, Seaside Spray, which is one of the new in colors. I love this blue, it's so pretty. I'm also pairing it with Rococo Rose, which is another in color. Again, just gorgeous. So I have um, some matte pieces. These are all just matte pieces, which I'm just going to glue down to my page. So all of these can just be glued down. So we'll do that first. And I meant to, I ran out of snail and I meant to have put a refill in before I went live and then I forgot. I swear I'd forget my head if it wasn't attached. So we're just gonna put this on. This Rococo Rose measures four and an eighth by five and three eighths. And then the white piece measures um, five and a quarter by four. And then this designer series paper. So this is the in color designer series paper. It's got Buffalo check on one side and then this other pretty print on the other side. And this one measures three and three quarters by five. Okay, so we've got that. All right, so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna stamp the camera and we have um, some pieces for the sentiments. So the camera, I'm going to stamp in the Seaside Spray, and you do have to do some fussy cutting, but it's actually okay because it's pretty much just straight lines, so it's not bad at all. So then we're just going to stamp it here. And now I'm gonna do another stamp um, because and I know it's really hard to tell, but I actually created a second level to kind of create, like, kind of make the lens kind of pop up a little bit, if that makes sense. So I'm going to stamp it again. Because I'm just going to take this little circle in the center. And then, um, then in the Rococo Rose, we're going to stamp the sentiments. So we have smile. And we have, it's your day. So this is a really pretty simple, cute card. Oh, that's kind of crooked, we're gonna try again. Do second time's a charm. There we go, that's better. Okay, so now we can close this up. Now I used circle punches, and I'm pretty sure the circle punches that I used are no longer available. So for example, the one and three eighths circle punch is still available, which I use to punch out the center of the circle. So just line that inside and punch that. Um, but the um, this punch, the one and three quarter inch punch is no longer available. So you'd have to use a circle framelit, but I, I'm sorry, but I love punches. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna have to keep keep using them. <laughs> I just love my punches. Okay, um, all right, so then we have, let's see. So we've got our lens, and then the one and a half inch circle punch is what I'm gonna use to punch out this um, center here. Okay, so that's gonna be uh, where our window is going to be. So we can set that aside for the minute. All right, so let's go ahead and fussy cut this out real quick and then I'll show you how we put this together. It's really, really simple. Um, so we're just gonna trim this down. Isn't this camera adorable, you guys? I just love it. And who doesn't love a shaker card? So fun. So there's our little trim. You see how easy that is? It's just really straight lines. It's just a bunch of straight lines. All right, so what you'll definitely need for a shaker card, there's kind of a couple things that you absolutely need. You need one is a window sheet, right? So you need it cut down to the size that you need 
to put it to cover the hole. Um, so I'm just going to put some liquid glue around the opening and glue that window sheet. Good morning, Debbie. Hi to those that have just joined us. Thank you so much for watching. We just started, so you haven't missed a thing. So here, we're just gonna glue that window sheet down. And you don't want it too close to the opening because then um, glue might leak out to the front, which would be a hot mess. Okay, so once you've got that window sheet down, the other thing that you need are these um, foam adhesive strips. These things are amazing and they make for a very simple or easy shaker card. They're double-sided, they're sticky. One side you don't wanna peel off, the other one you peel right off the backing and you just stick it down around your project. Now you wanna keep it away from the opening but you want it to be fairly close <clears throat> because you need less shaker material if it's close. The further away from the opening, the more shaker material it takes. So that's a little trick, a little trick to know. All right, so I have extra, I'm just gonna stick it back on my little sheet here. Notice how I haven't taken the backing off yet. You don't need to do that until you're ready to lay it down. Okay, so now I'm gonna be determining, you know, where I want this, this card. I'm definitely gonna put some more dimensionals on the back. If I can find my dimensionals. I have to open another pack. Oh no, those are black. I don't wanna use those. What are my dimensionals? Oh, there they are. Just a hot mess this morning. Don't even know where my tools are. So just gonna put some extra dimensionals on here because um, we want this thing to stick down, okay? Now the foam adhesive strip is a little bit thicker or uh, wider than the dimensionals, but um, it should be okay. Okay, so now when you're trying to determine where you're gonna put this, because this is the important part about shaker cards, you don't wanna put the shaker material in here and then try and have to like lay, you can't see what you're doing. Instead, you wanna make a pile of the shaker material on your card and then lay this over it. So we're gonna take our woven thread sequins, which are so pretty, look at how gorgeous they are. And you're gonna dump out a little bit. And you just wanna keep it in a nice pile, okay? Um, where you want that to be glued down. Okay. So then we'll take the backing off of our camera off that foam strip, and then we just want to put this over the sequins, making sure our camera's fairly straight, and glue it down. And now you have these sequins inside, and they're trapped, and they're not going anywhere. How awesome is that? The only thing left um, that we have to do is just cut out our sentiments, and I'm just doing these by hand. You can also use a trimmer if you want a more straight, um, trim. So we've got that. And then this one, I just, with the smile, I just cut around it because it seems like a pretty big, oops, when you leave it as a block, it seems pretty big. And my cutting has been off lately. I don't know what the deal is. So no judging my, <laughs> my cutting skills today, okay? Be, be kind to the cutting skills. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm getting arthritis. Okay. Okay. I definitely probably have symptoms of carpal tunnel from my job being on a computer all day, but who knows? Okay, so we've got our two things and then we have our little lens here that we can glue down so that it kind of, it just adds another layer of it. So we'll do that. And then we'll glue those sentiments down and this is card is made. How simple is that? Don't you have a place to pop the lens too? Oh, this, the, yeah, yeah, Jenny, thank you for catching that. So we are just gonna glue that down. Now you could pop it up, but I feel like you would see the space in, in between. I don't know, it probably looked fine. Or you could do a couple layers of this too to stack it up. If you wanted it to be more defined, you could stack it up. So there's my smile. And then of course, I had to add extra bling, so I glued some sequins scattered around. 
um, the card. So just did a little couple dots of glue. Okay. And then you can take your, oh, pick a tool. Let's see. Let me get my pick a tool out. Here's my little pick a tool. It's almost like I feel like I need more than one to like, cause I don't, I like having the pre settings. Like I keep one with the dye brush on it and the piercing tool. And then the other one I want just for the putty. <laughs> Uh, let's see. So we're just going to take some of these sequins and pop them around on those glue dot or those little piles of glue that we made. Uh, how about that one? And voila. So cute. Love the bling. Okay. So you guys like that card? Is that fun? A little shaker card? What a cute little girl's birthday or something. Like, you know, I, um, on the next card, you know how I did the cow. So I'll, I'll put this aside here. On the next one where I did the cow, originally I wanted to do like a picture of Morgan, my daughter, on the inside. And I asked her if I could do it. And she was like, no, mom, I don't want my picture in there. <laughs> I was like, darn it. It'd be so cute. But I couldn't convince her. So, oh well, we will lit, make do with what we got. So the cow's a good option, a good number two option. But wouldn't that be fun with like your friends, uh, like if you were making this for a friend, their friend's picture or your picture or your, your daughter's or somebody, I don't know. I thought it was cute. But the cow is really cute too, so we'll, we'll use the cow this time. All right, so for this card, we're using one of my most favorite colors, which is Coastal Cabana. I absolutely love this card, cardstock. And then we have two pieces, um, one of uh, Poppy Parade and one of Whisper White. So the Poppy Parade is um, four by five and a quarter, and the white is three and a quarter by five. Um, so we're going to stamp those. This is going to be the inside piece. This one is four four inches by five and a quarter. So it's just our inside piece. So we'll stamp that and color that. Um, we need to stamp um, our camera on this piece of Daffodil Delight. And we're gonna do that um, with, with uh, black ink. So stays on black ink will work for that. So I'm just cleaning off the Seaside Spray. We need our camera. And we'll get the stays on. So we have to do this twice because we need the camera and then we need the lens. So here's our camera, which we'll have to fussy cut out again. And then we'll do just the lens right here, which we'll cut out. And then, um, let's see, what else do we need? We need a piece, of, I'm gonna need more Whisper White because we need to stamp our cow. So we'll, here's a scrap of piece, scrap piece of Whisper White and we're going to take Memento Black ink and we're gonna stamp our little cow, like so. Okay, and then we have to color him. So we will color him. I have light basic black. This is the color I did for his little spots. So you can see there, I've got light basic black. We'll just color his spots. Um, and then we need um, light flirty flamingo for his little snout. Ooh, that's dark. This is not light. Where's my light? We'll try to blend that a little bit. We might have to just go with the dark. We made him, made his nose really pink. So the nice thing about the blends is you can blend the colors a little bit. So the more that I use the lighter, it will soften the dark and make it more like it's just shading. He's got a dark spot on his nose. Okay, so that's pretty good there. And then we'll do the bell. All right. So now that our cow is colored, we need to do some punching. So we are going to punch out the lens and we're going to use the one and a half inch circle punch to do that. So this is the lens area we're punching out. 
Okay, now for the full camera lens, so this is where our little cow is gonna go. For the full camera lens, we're gonna use the one and three quarter inch circle punch, which again, doesn't exist anymore, you guys, so you'll have to use the layering circle dies if you don't have this size. And I'm gonna punch another one, because I'll show you we're gonna need a backing to that lens piece. And then for our cow, I'm gonna use this larger one and three quarter inch circle punch to punch him out. So that we can put him behind the camera. Okay, so let's go ahead and cut out our camera again. I have another camera to cut. Okay, so now we've got our camera, we've got our lens. We don't need this inside piece. You could save it for something else. It kinda looks like a tire, or like Cindy said the other night, it looks like a weird eyeball. <laughs> or you can toss it. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a thin layer of liquid glue around my camera opening here so that I can glue my cow on. So we'll just put him back there. And he's posing for the picture, except he's got his eyes closed, probably have to do a retake. <laughs> All right, so now we've got our cow on there. So now let me show you the um, part where we do the magnets. So the magnets, I ordered these magnets online. Um, the tape that was on here must have removed the size, I can't remember. If you want the sizes of the magnets, let me know, they come in, I think it's a hundred pieces. Um, so two of them, you need two and you definitely need glue dots for this. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these magnets on with a glue dot. So take one magnet, doesn't matter which side, put a glue dot on the back and stick it to the center of the lens cap. So just stick it right there. Okay, so then we're gonna put this lens over it like we want. And then on the back side, we're gonna find out where that magnet's gonna stick. Oops. Okay, so we're gonna put a mag we're gonna put a glue dot on that side that sticks to the magnet, because it can't be the opposite side. Or they will, you know, the opposites, the the wrong side of the magnet won't stick. Okay, so I've got my lens on there where I want. Turn it over. and the magnet stuck down, the glue dots inside there, it's stuck now. Okay, so now I can pull this off and I can cover the magnet with this back piece. So this is that second, <laughs> second circle and we're gonna just lay that over. Get my baby wipe and kind of clean off that glue. So now the magnet is inside the center of the lens. Does that make sense? What size the magnets are? Okay, Cindy, I'll go back into my, um, I got them on Amazon, so I'll go back to my Amazon history and I'll post um, the size on the, uh, in the comments, okay? All right, so there's our little camera. He's got his little magnet. Now we can just put dimensionals on the back of our card. to glue this down. Pretty easy, right? What a cool little surprise to have in a card, a little magnet. Now I'm not gonna stick that down yet because we need to do some stamping on this piece here. Um, we're going to do that. There's this stamp, this stamp that says snap, click, say cheese, click, snap, click. Um, I did this in Coastal Cabana, which I stamped several times. So we're just gonna stamp it all over. Okay, and then no really rhyme or reason to it, just kind of all over. And then we need to um, glue these layers down. So I, I tend to like things um, crooked, not so lined up and straight. If you're a lined up straight person, then absolutely do it your way. Um, but I like to kind of do things a little crooked. Um, my head must be tilted to the side a lot because it's just natural to me. So I just glue my piece tilted to the side a little bit and then I'll do this one kind of the opposite direction so that it's going in the opposite direction of the red. 
or poppy parade. Okay, now we can take the backing off of our camera. And I just love, I just love this cow. He's so cute. Okay, so I'm gonna also do this just a little bit crooked. And then we can put our little lens on. Okay. And then we have our little sentiment, cows it going. So we will stamp that in, we'll just stamp it in memento because I have it here. Cows it going, which again, we're gonna fussy cut, but you could also trim it if you wanted. But it's a small enough font that um, straight lines aren't too hard. It's like one or two cuts with the scissors. Okay, that is a little bit crooked, more crooked than I like, so I'm just gonna trim it down a little bit. Okay, how's it going? All right, and then I just stuck that down on, or next to the camera. So I'm just gonna stick that. And I used a dimensional on one side and the liquid glue on the other so that's the same level as the camera. Aw, thanks Rhonda. It is easy, believe me. Just gotta go for it. Can't let the, the fear stop you because look at the cute things you could make just by having some faith. Cute, right? And if it doesn't work out, you just rip up the cardstock and try it again with the magnets. You, I mean, you should see how many times I created this lens before I, I got the color and things that I liked. I tried different color lenses, I tried different color cameras until I found the one that I liked. So again, it's not like I got it right on the first try, it's several attempts and you just gotta keep going until you find something you like. All right, so for the inside, I have your Utterly Fantastic and then a little heart bubble. You could also do birthday, you could make it a thank you, you can do anything that you want. Hi, Jesse, you like my cow? He's so cute. Cindy's little grandson. He's her little crafting part partner. He has this little desk in her office where he gets to craft next to his grandma, which is so sweet. And he likes my cow. So there. Okay. So then the last thing I'm just going to take is this Poppy Parade blends and I'm just going to color the little heart. Just fill it in. I've started doing because because of Cindy actually is the reason I've started doing the insides of my cards more often um, because it feels more like a completed card. You know, a lot of times I would leave the inside empty because I wanted people to be able to put or make it whatever it is. But then I, when I go to use it, then I have to do something with the inside. So I've been more decisive lately and making sentiments for the inside. Or like Cindy does, she'll just take like an image, like you could just stamp the cow or just stamp the heart or whatever, and then you can write whatever you want in it, which is also a very good idea. So there you go, guys. You have your little cow with a little removable lens. You could do this with whatever picture inside the camera that you wanted. You could even do that Maui Beach theme like I showed you on the one card we did. Um, but how fun is that? What a cool cool little trick. No naked inside or envelopes. That's right, Barb. I don't think I would use the camera, but now that you have shown me that, I need the set. Right, Cindy? So that's what happened to me. So this was what I call a sleeper set because I had no desire to get this set. I didn't think that I would need it. And then the only reason I got it was because I thought it went cute with the theme for my team meeting. And then now I can't stop creating with it. <laughs> so I'm ruined. <laughs> Last project is our shutter card, which I'm really excited to show you guys. So how cute is a smile? You're on camera. <laughs> no smile, the focus is all on you. How cool is that shutter technique? So I went and I found a shutter technique tutorial and then I created this so that the lens um, of the camera opens like a shutter. Very fun. All right, so to start, you need a piece of Melon Mambo cardstock and this is measured eight and a for yeah eight and a half by five and a half and then I scored it at two and an eighth on one side so this is going to be one side of the card now um based on the video that I watched and I can't remember the demonstrator but she did a very good job instructing me um but you fold the other side over without scoring it fold it over to meet um in the middle 
and then you score or you burnish that edge and then you have a nice perfect um, piece that matches right in the middle. You know, sometimes when you score on both sides and you fold it over, sometimes you have a gap or it's too far, you know, the measurements just aren't right. But this way you guarantee you have like this perfect fold. Okay, so we have that piece. Then we also need several pieces of um, cardstock and um, designer series paper. Now the designer series paper I chose to use is from the actual Sia Silhouette um, uh, designer series paper pack. It's so bright, it looks like that pigment sprinkles. Uh, I, it just captured my eye and with the theme being capture the good and it being about pictures, I thought this was perfect. So um, this piece of designer series paper measures three or two and seven eighths by five and three eighths. And the piece of Whisper White behind it is three inches by five and a half. Okay, and again, those measurements are on my um, project sheet. So if you need, you can just go over there and get it and print it out and not have to write this down. This is going to be the inside piece of our card. So this back piece here. Okay, so that's gonna go here. And then we need two pieces for the front panels. These two measure one and seven eighths by five and a quarter. And then these two pieces measure two inches by five and three eighths. So they're just gonna be backed as well. So we can just glue those on. Did you know the demo that created that stamp set like loves to take pictures? Well, that would make sense, doesn't it? So it's, um, oh, it is a million dollar earner. Oh, very cool. Thanks for sharing, Jenny, I didn't know that. Bye, Diane. Thank you for watching today. Have a fabulous Sunday. Okay. So then we have our little panels here. Okay, and those can go just, we can just glue those down. Right now we'll just glue them to the front. So great for scrapbooking, absolutely, Cindy. You are very, very, very true. Okay, now we need to stamp our camera, so we're gonna do that in Melon Mambo ink. We have to fussy cut it out again. It's like my favorite F word, you guys, fussy cut. And those of you that know me know this is true. <laughs> All right, so there's that. We'll go ahead and clean that. Okay, so the other thing I need, which I forgot to grab, are these two pieces. These pieces are going to be the shutter part on the inside. So they measure three and a half by three and three quarters. And then on the three and three quarter side, I scored at a quarter of an inch on both so that they, um, what's it called? So that they have that score line. Now I cut, I did a little cut. I marked at the one and three quarter inches. So in the center of my um, piece. So half of this would be uh, one and, let's see, one and a half and one and a half is three. So one and three quarters. So at one and three quarters, I went up to that one and three quarters line and I marked it. Okay, and then I cut from corner to corner down to that center point to create this V. Okay, does that make sense? Remember one and three quarters. One and three quarters by one and three quarters to create that center point and then cut from corner to corner. So I've got two of them. You're gonna have to score and burnish at that quarter inch line. Okay, so you have two here that's going to open and close. All right, so let's go ahead and fussy cut this out. We'll do some punching, some hole punching, and then we will put this together. Okay, so now I have my camera. I'm gonna take my one and a half inch circle punch and I'm gonna punch out the center like so. Okay, and I have to do the same thing on this piece, which I can just go and I can put it right in the middle and I'm gonna, I guess it doesn't matter. So I just find the center, push it all the way in as far as it will go and punch. 
And that's pretty dang centered if you ask me. And so the camera, as you can see, as I was talking about, is some of the camera's gonna be off to the side and the it's not gonna be quite centered. But again, you probably didn't notice if I didn't if I hadn't have told you. And if you did, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's not centered. All right, so the other thing we need is this piece, which is one and three eighths, or I'm sorry, one and three quarters circle. And we're gonna put the sentiment, um, the focus is all on you. So I'm gonna get that out. And I did it in black, but I think this time I wanna do it in pink because kind of the theme of the card is pink. Let's try it in pink. Black stood out really nicely, but I'm just gonna do pink. I'm feeling the pink today. Okay. Oh, you guys, I make sense? Oh, good. You guys speak crazy then. <laughs> you guys speak crazy like me. All right, so there's the focus is all on you. I did it in the Melon Mambo this time. Okay, so here's the trick. So first of all, let's go ahead and glue our camera down to that center circle. That way it's just down and ready to go. So we'll just glue all of that. Now I know this side's gonna come off, so I didn't wanna put glue on that side but we're just going to glue this to the center like that. Okay, and then on the back side, we need to put four dimensionals. You could put more than that, but you just wanna do the four corners. And since I'm using minis, I'm probably gonna do three at the top and three at the bottom. Don't do these sides because that's where we're gonna to have to get creative. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna peel off the backing on just the top dimensionals. Leave the bottom ones on. <laughs> Jenny. Jenny speaks creativity, I like that. Not crazy, creativity. Okay, so I'm gonna lay this down. Now the one thing that you wanna do is make sure you give yourself about a quarter of an inch to maybe three eighths of an inch on this side where this camera lens ends. Because it's not even, it's not gonna be directly in the center. So just make sure you've given yourself space because you don't want that camera to run into the side when it folds down. You don't want it to hit the camera and not be able to close. Okay, so I've glued the top on, but I've left the bottom unglued because we're gonna glue this down inside on the bottom. So I'm just putting some glue and just sliding that in and trying to find the center. It's pretty good. I'm impressed with myself. All right, so now we've got that circle in there. Now we're gonna put tear and tape along these two score lines on our little shutter pieces. So we'll just put a line here and a line here. Okay, rub those down really good. And peel off the backing. Oops, okay. So here's the fun part. I actually think this stuff is kind of fun. I'm also kind of weird, so you guys might think that, that there's nothing fun about this. All right, so we're gonna slide this in and what you wanna do is just kinda of make sure that this point is kinda of centered in the middle and the edge of this piece needs to line up with the edge with the score line here, okay? So now I'm gonna, once I've got it where I want, I'm gonna fold this over and glue that adhesive to this flap so that when I pull it open, it opens the center of my card, okay? Now we're gonna do the exact same thing on this side except we want to put, um, the two pieces either underneath or above the shutter piece. So I'm gonna put them underneath. And again, I'm just gonna try and get that centered as best I can, like so, up against that score line, fold over and burnish. And now I have the shutter effect, okay? So now that I've got that, I can take the adhesive backing off of these dimensionals and I can glue this down. Oh. Now mine is not quite even because I've had to, again, move this over a little bit so it doesn't hit the camera, but it's a very cool effect. Look at that, how sweet is that? And I like the sentiment in pink, that's really cute. 
All right, and so for the front, I just decorated it with a cute little smile. You could also do a band. You could do all kinds of things. Um, I just did a two and a quarter inch circle punch with a backing a Starburst in Daffodil Delight. So this is Melon Mambo, Daffodil Delight. And then I have a stitch circle from the Stitch Shape Dies. Whoo, that's a really hard thing to say. Stitch Shape Dies. Stamp Smile in Melon Mambo on that little stitch shape. Right, the instructions alone, Rhonda, I'm telling you, like I need a video step-by-step -step for this. This Sometimes videos are better than reading words on a paper. So stamp smile. And I have to let this dry because my ink pad is really inky and it smudges. Just let that dry, just shake my chicken wing. And while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'll glue these pieces down. Now you could use dimensionals and pop them up, which is also cool, or you can glue them directly down. Maybe I'll put dimensionals on this one. The first one I just glued straight down, but I can't resist a good dimensional. You had me at dimension. <laughs> I'm being extra silly today. I'm sorry about that, you guys. All right, so there's our cute little smile. Now we'll just glue that down to one side. So only half of our smile Half of it is gonna have glue because the other half is going to be free and not glued down. Aww. So cute, what a fun card, you guys. I love this technique. I am in love with this camera. Thank you so much for watching my video today and joining me for these creative projects. I hope you guys had fun. And remember, I can make these for you and ship them directly to you if you place an order with me this week. It's $30 using this code. And then if you want my extra goodie surprise, which is the gold mini pizza boxes, just up your order to $50. Guys, make sure you do the um, holiday ribbon and paper share. You will not be disappointed by all that beautiful paper that you'll have in hand and all that gorgeous ribbon. I hope you guys have a fabulous week and I look forward to crafting with you again next week. Bye guys. Thank you so much.